Hey everyone, this is Nancy, the Kentucky Garden Gal, and on today's vlog, we are going to make some Christmas greenery. We're going to do two different displays. They're super simple, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do these and show you the trees uh, and the shrubs that I choose from to do the greenery. So we are standing behind a juniper. And when I talk about uh, having a four season garden, in the winter, this is the textures and the colors that will make up your garden. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so you can see uh, where I have these and how, how big they are, first of all. And I believe these are three years old. If I'm not mistaken, there's three of them there. And I believe I paid like $15 for these at Lowe's. So you can see it's in between two buildings here. And uh, what I do, this is a neighbor's fence. So when I'm ready to cut Christmas greenery, I go in the back and I cut from behind. So everything that you see sticking over this privacy fence, I will cut down, number one, um, because I don't want to encroach on my neighbor, and number two, because that's what I'm going to use in my greenery. And I can take this off the back. It will not affect how this uh, tree grows, how it looks. You'll never know it. The neighbor's happy, and I have something to work with for Christmas. So these are the sky pencil trees, and I did a video where I propagated these, and they actually are doing really well. Um, but these are also, and the way that that's sticking out right there, you can actually take a clip and, um, and just clip that back on. They make some little green clips. I've got one on one if I can find it, but you can take sprigs of this and just cut, you know, where it wouldn't be noticeable, but look at the texture on that. That is a great uh, piece to use in your Christmas greeneries. So right down here, we have these little Nandina shrubs, and I actually have two types in my garden. But look at the berries. Look at the berries on these. These are just, this is wonderful to use in your, uh, green, your Christmas greenery arrangements, whatever, however you want to use them. And they also sprout uh, pretty aggressively. So if you want to put them somewhere else in your yard, they're easy to dig up and transplant. So I have those down, um, this way and like I said I just tuck in the evergreen trees wherever I can now obviously this is the magnolia this is one of my well this is my favorite tree I just couldn't live somewhere that didn't have a magnolia tree in the yard but this is an absolutely wonderful wonderful um, tree to use to decorate in Christmas at Christmas time and what you do I want to go under the tree so you can kind of see what it looks like under here when you cut off a branch it does not grow back but look how that collar has formed and that's just perfect it looks like I have a little woodpecker there trying to do some damage but so you want to be real careful because when you cut off one of these branches these are not going to grow back so what i do i usually come in under here now i don't trim this any other time but at christmas time and i'll take off like i would take off here and here and here and here and i would go around and take from the under so that it really doesn't um, affect the tree. This is another evergreen that I planted. And as you can see, it's kind of grown over the sidewalk. So everything that you see from the sidewalk up, I'm gonna trim, but I actually waited 
for Christmas to trim this so that I can use this in my greenery. This is another tree that I use. It's a little pine tree. And as you can see, it's actually in my neighbor's yard, but I'll wait again for Christmas so that I can come and trim some of this back. I generally try to keep it off of this little building, but look at the beautiful interest in that. That is going to make some really pretty hanging wreaths. Look how nice that is. And if you do not have, and they're hanging low, all you have to do is just pull it down a little bit and you're ready to cut. It won't take five minutes to gather everything that I'll need, but I just think that this is so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. This is my Savannah Holly, and it just has beautiful flowers and textures to use in your Christmas uh, greeneries. And I want to show you how to cut these branches. So you're going to come up and you're going to cut at a 45 degree angle. We have some down here that look a whole lot better, but cut at a 45 degree angle. And then you're gonna take a hammer and just gently crush the end of your branches put it in water and that will cause your evergreens to soak up the water in the last And now longer. we come to the fun part. So these are the greeneries that we're going to be making today. I went ahead and put one together so that I could show you how to assemble this. And you could use this over a doorway. You could use this uh, as a centerpiece in your table. There's just so many options that you can use these for and when you know what you want to use it for, then you can cut it to your size. So I'm, this, is the, this is one of two that we're gonna make today. So there's the first one. This is the second one. I'm gonna move it back so I can get all of it in the frame. But I was at a nursery in our area recently and I saw these for $19 and it basically cost me nothing because I was able to source all the material from my own garden. I had this rope. Now I am using these, I plan on using this to go underneath a single light uh, on a front porch. This will be uh, a rustic cabin type look so i just went simple i just went for the super simple uh cord you can make this as fancy as you want it you can embellish it match your decor your colors this is i'm just showing you what the basic framework is and then you can take it and do with it whatever you would like but these are beautiful of course they're all natural i think that they are they just look lush and they really add a lot to your uh, Christmas decor. And what I normally do is I will decorate inside and out and then maybe two weeks before Christmas, I'll come back and do all of my live greenery. And it just, it just adds something to it. I can't even explain it. But First one that we're started. gonna make is the swag. And what we're gonna do, this is from the pine tree. This is going to be our base. And you just take two pieces, join it together in the middle. Now, you kind of look at it, see how it lays. You know, do you need to tilt this or turn this or however you manipulate it, however you want it to look. And when you get it finished, you can always go back and kind of twist it around. And what I do, I'm using twine, just, just plain twine to connect these. And I usually put it underneath my arrangement, sort of have it under here. And I'll try to hold this up so you can see it. Put it under there and then I just start building. And depending on where it's going, what I want to do with it, uh, the length it needs to be, 
these can this is all custom this is all custom done to fit to fit your space but this is my base this is going to be my base so the next thing i'm going to add are the hollies aren't those just gorgeous so the next layer i'm going to bring it in this is the first layer this is the second layer i'm going to bring it in just a little bit because i don't want the second layer to be as long as the first layer so we'll select another piece of holly over here and when you're looking at it you kind of want your pieces to be to have the same amount of greenery so i'm gonna lay this one we see that this is a this is prettier than this so we're gonna turn it actually i need to turn this around see how this curves so i'm gonna put this on this side and this one on that side now it looks natural it's all going the same way so that is my first layer this is going to be three steps and i'm just going to start this twine around here these are so much fun to make i know that gathering your uh, greeneries and getting them cut and getting them crushed you know that is work but you can do that the day before you can you can um you can take this and make it into a um a two-day project whatever whatever time frame suits you this is this is your project and you can do it to suit yourself but um wrap that some more so how long did this take us two three minutes not long at all so the last Part of this let's see will be our magnolia and you just fit this to lay however you want it to look so this is what it will look like you got one two three layers and I'm gonna take my twine and I am going to attach this magnolia leaf to the arrangement now you can use uh, paddle wire you can use um, any you know rope anything that you have on hand that you want to use if it's going to be outside and I think it's going to be fairly windy I will oftentimes even zip tie mine because you don't want them coming apart that's something that you definitely don't want so I'm going to use just a little bit more to secure this with, and then this one is done. And when you finish it, you go put it where you want it. And if it doesn't look the way, if it you know doesn't fit the space, you can always uh, trim and cut. This is yours. You can make it. It's very personalized. So you definitely make it what you want it so that you're happy with it and it fits your space. So all I'm doing is just really securing this magnolia leaf in here. And on this arrangement, I am not even going to put uh, a ribbon or a bow on this, but literally you can add any embellishment Whatever theme you are working with, that is exactly what you can do. And I'm just gonna keep wrapping this to make sure that I've got that on there really, really well. And when I'm doing the magnolia, I always go up a leaf so that I'm not just working on the end of the, um, with the end of the branch, I'll always go up and catch a couple of leaves, and that way I know it's gonna stay secure for me. And just, you know, wrap it different ways, get it on there, get it on there good and tight so it stays where you want it. But there we go. That is a beautiful swag, and it was so easy to do. So I'll lay this one to the side. Now, the second one that we're gonna do, it's just as simple. 
So remember, I cut these junipers, and once you've done this a few seasons, you will actually know how to trim your greenery off of your trees or shrubs without very much waste and without very much trimming putting it together. So three pieces, longest, same size, shorter on the size. That's our base right there. That is going to be our base for this greenery. So the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to use some of our Nandina because we want different colors and textures. You know, I just might I might do this one a little bit different. We, we may do more layers on this. You customize it however you want it. I have this really pretty greenery right here, and I think I could get away and always turn your greenery so that the green side is up. There's like a dark and a light side to the leaf. So turn it so that your dark side is up. So one layer, two layers. Let's bring in a little color, add that right there. So that's our third layer. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the end of this because my last and final step will be to put our uh, ribbon on. So go ahead and tie this up. Just take your time and make sure that it's good and tight and you have it good and secure. So all I'm doing is wrapping this end. And then if you've used your uh, paddle wire or your twine, if you're gonna hang this up using like a small nail, you can usually catch this right on the back of the nail. So it, it has double duty. tie this off okay. so the last thing that I'm going to do is I have some ribbon and like I said for this for the area that I'm using it in it's just uh, it's just gonna be one single um, one single light post if you were going to do the same thing on each side you would need to be sure that you had everything about the same length so i'm just going to use a simple rope because everything is super simple christmas in the country now tie this and like i mentioned before you can use ribbon you can use whatever you want This is finished. I'll step back so you can see it. And this will just go right against the side of the house under um, a light fixture. And it'll just add a little something to that area. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Our next video, we're gonna make some, uh, some live wreaths using uh, uh, cinnamon sticks and dried oranges and uh, different things. I actually saw this wreath in a Harry and David uh, magazine, and I thought, gosh, I bet I could do that. So the next video will be making this wreath. So I hope that you've enjoyed this, and don't forget to hit uh, the subscribe button, like the video, and if you wouldn't care, leave a comment. Thanks so much.